From food to wine, going organic is all the rage. And you may have heard that organic wine doesn't give you a hangover. But what's the real deal? So to clarify, organic wine is made without using genetic engineering or synthetic fertilizers. Other ingredients that go into the wine, like yeast, must also be certified organic. And then also part of this, a lot of people will blame sulfites that are added to some wines for causing hangovers. Um, it can help preserve them, but no sulfites are added to organic wines, although the sulfites wine are naturally produced anyway. In, right, and, and, not, and the sulfites in it, actually, you get used to the taste. So if you take, mm -hmm. if you take the sulfites out, the wine may taste a little bit different. So I'm but the sulfites yeah. most likely not the cause of your hangover. Um, we, always, we always talk about them, but I think now we're finding that the cause of the hangover is probably, to some extent, the tannins, to some extent, the histamines. And mainly... And then dehydration. No, well, I was going to say mainly the alcohol. Yeah, yeah the, I mean, the, 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 alcohol, alcohol, the alcohol, the acetaldehyde, yeah. as it gets yeah. metabolized, that's what's going to make you feel a little funky. But if this works, I'm going to go, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> but we have before us two bottles of the same type of wine. One is organic, one is not. We have no idea which is which, so we're going to do a little taste test. So shall we start with the one on our a right? Votre santé, right. So these are, I believe, Salut. Cabernets. Cabernet Sauvignon. All right. And apparently these are the same price point wines from the same region, Cabernets. Let's go to the other one. I feel like a, a wine show. Hmm. <laughs> the second one definitely is a much richer taste. Richer, it is. And it's so, more what I'm used to, so I'm going to probably well, listen assume to you. that, well, you know. <laughs> no, I, I think that this one um, definitely is more consistent with cabs I've typically drunk, but yes. it, so I'm gonna maybe bet the red is the organic. Um, just because it's a little different. Just, just as a little different taste. It's a little lighter taste. I need to redo well. it. You might, you might want to read. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I and, and just so you guys are in on this, we have little dots on the bottom. Yeah. One is red and one red is blue. blue. That's. You know I, what? I'm, I can't really tell the difference. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go with you. My guess would be that red is organic. Yeah. And, and, and I am going to go the opposite to be a contrarian and okay. say the blue is organic. Fair All enough. right, let's see. Well, I think it's important to note that there were $254 million in organic wine sales in 2016. Apparently, this is the biggest growing segment of a $47 billion market in organic foods right now. So this this is kind of a hot area in foods and wines in general. All right, uh, well, what, what's, what's the answer? Yeah, what's the answer? Uh, <laughs> we are the one. So we just so. red, red is the organic. We know, we know our vibe. We just drink a lot. See, our, our, we West LA folks, we know our cap yeah, stuff. No, I think, I think that probably just goes to show that Drew and I drink a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> But to your point as to the sulfites, it's important to point out they occur in wine naturally. So that aspect of it probably has nothing but, to do with the hangover. And, and some they're both, they're very, both, they're both and very yeah. comparable. And one of the things that you guys always say, I say, is that in between every glass of wine, if you're at a big party and you're going to have more than one, which we don't ever recommend. Yeah, for women, one is actually the, what you should be drinking. But you, if you're going to have a couple, you will use a the, little water in between, a glass of water mm -hmm. for every every beverage, yeah. and I think that's important not only for moderation, but dehydration is a big issue when it comes to over-imbibing, so. Yeah, so if you're gonna double cheers, fist, yeah, one water, I'm, one wine. I'm gonna go let's organic here. Yeah, and let's do organic. We're let's going start. organic. I'm going conventional. You're going conventional. I'm sorry. <laughs>